you can see, we've got something a little bit different today. Um, I've got a couple of devices that were sent in non-retail packaging. So this isn't really an unboxing, but this is just a, a first look. And this is the Boogie Board Blackboard and letter and Boogie Board Blackboard note. And what these are is these are pressure sensitive LCD screens that change transparency and you know, change appearance when pressure is applied. That, that really is as simple as it is. That's really how they work. So they come with uh, a couple of different inserts. Right now I've got the dot grid and both of them. This one also came with a graph and a line page. And we've got a day planner insert and a line paged here for the letter size one. Although I thought I was supposed to get a graph one with the letter size one as well. Maybe I was incorrect. Maybe that is replaced by the day planner. And the pages on, on the back of both of these are just blank. So th those are inserts uh, that can be removed and replaced as you can see. This is completely transparent without that insert. And that's actually pretty handy since it allows you to place the LCD over top of an object that isn't necessarily uh, one of the pages that came with it. So here we'll throw one of my focus targets in. And uh, apparently it's not quite exactly letter size you would, you'd have to cut things down to print or cut things down to fit. But you can see, there's my focus target. You can see when I draw on it that the LCD changes color. Not super obvious, at least on the camera, on the light background of my studio here, but shows up perfectly fine if we put the dot grid back in. So, um, interesting thought. They should probably offer a service where you can upload custom templates and get these cut to match. You know, I'm sure these are die cut somewhere. That they've got a machine that they just print it out and they run a thousand of these through it in a second. Um, you wouldn't need new dies. You would just need to reprint different stuff for that. Anyway. So this is the letter size one, this is the note size one. And uh, we'll actually probably feature these in a video when we do coverage on the Okio Cam S and Okio Cam T. The full review of those will probably go live before this does. And uh, that's actually one of the reasons that I, I have these to look at is um, the idea that this is a tablet in the sense that, I mean, it is an LCD and it is electronic, but it's also not permanent. So one feature that, you know, I haven't touched yet is this button here. I press that button and the screen is erased clean. That makes these great for temporary lists and things that you don't need to keep forever. So if I have a checklist for something, I can write my checklist down, I can go through, I can check things off and I can press the button and I wipe my slate clean. Um, and for those wondering, and this is a feature on both of these, there is a safety. This little switch here slides over, it exposes a red dot, and now I can't erase it with the button. So Another thing that has been introduced, this is not a new concept. This is actually something that uh, the, the parent company that designed these Kent displays has been making for a while. Um, I remember having one seven years ago, it may have been. Maybe a little, little sooner than that, maybe five years. That was no, nowhere near as sophisticated. And I think they called it the Jot or something like that. It, it was smaller than the... It was smaller than the note sized one and didn't come with as complex of a stylus. And I think I ended up losing the stylus. These are much nicer. Um, they're magnetized to the board 
so that it doesn't, well, I guess if you shake it hard enough, it does, um, but it doesn't come off easily when you're carrying it around doing something sane, and you'd have no issue keeping it attached during normal day-to-day -day stuff. They're also pen-sized, so, you know, my briefcase, when I throw this in there, I can just throw it in a slot like I would a pen, and then when I take the board out, just stick the stylus to it. Um, that one had no protect switch, so it also had a membrane style button. This is a physical clicky button. Um, so that was, it got pressed all the time if it got put on something and uh, it didn't work out super great. Also didn't have these changeable back pages. I, I really like this feature because uh, I could 100% see these being used in class. I mentioned the Yokio cam, so you could go from Here's a piece of graph paper. I am drawing something for math. In fact, let's just swap it around. So here it is for math. I'm gonna draw out my Cartesian plane. And You know, here's zero, zero, and I say I'm going to draw a line with a specific slope and draw it out. So, I mean, there it is. That is the application. And if I had this under a document camera, perfect. And then math's over. Flip it around. Now we're doing... English exercises, and everybody in the class has got one of these, and everybody in the class has got a document camera, and uh, they're told, I don't know, letter writing practice, you know, quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, um, write a sentence about your summer vacation that didn't happen because no one could go anywhere, you know, and so here it is with lines, I'm not at a super great angle for this because it's out in front of me, but if it was at a more comfortable angle I'd have no problem saying you know this summer I made videos for pocket holes and my handwriting sucks but there it is <laughs> so and those are just a couple of applications where the fact that these are temporary isn't really a problem because you, you're doing active work with them. You're, you're creating a list, you're checking it off, you're working in class, you're drawing graphs. I mean, yes, you want to take notes about stuff, but if what you're doing is an interactive activity that isn't going to be useful beyond when it's completed, these are fantastic. Um... Other stuff, so another feature that's been added if anyone's worked with or seen one of the older models of these is this button. This is called the Selective Erase button. And instead of pressing the button and erasing the whole display, Selective Erase allows me to, well, <laughs> Selective Erase, I'll just scribble a bunch, allows me to, using either the eraser side of this or even the pen side, if I want to do something more precise, erase a section of what has been drawn. Cool. So, other things. You don't have to use the included stylus. There's my fingernail. Um, the included stylus is intended to, you know, extend the lifetime of the screen, but isn't necessarily super critical. Uh, they have an app. The app is called Blackboard. And you can use it without registering. And it basically is just a camera organizer app. So you can take a picture, and I'll probably zoom in on this. And it works kind of like, I don't know if any of you have used Microsoft's Office Lens app. But you can basically adjust your frame around what you want and then it will store the image of what it has cropped around the frame of the tablet. Um, this is not a new concept. 
this is something we've, you know, I mentioned office lenses for document scanning. Um, there is also a piece of software, or not a piece of software, um, the Rocket Book devices we've looked at in the past have an app similar to this. So this is good. I like seeing that they have their own take on this. Um, but it, it's really these that are the unique component. This is a document scanning app. And so you can enhance it and you can draw on it and you can, you know, save it and uh, save it as a note, save it as a document, email it to people, whatever may be appropriate at that point. Um, and if anyone wants, we'll do a full walkthrough on the Blackboard app. I think it's simple enough that it's not necessarily critical to do a full tour of the app um, when really what I'm you know actually excited about is the displays but maybe you guys have a different opinion uh, the note also came with this slightly confusing easel so the note model comes with this easel and my first thought was that it would hold the screen up like this like an artist's easel and it doesn't it actually holds it kind of like that so and it, it it's not that it doesn't work like this I mean I can draw on it um, but it's that that feels like it's not the position that the note was built to be used in uh, and what I mean by that is if you look at the pages that come with the note so it comes with the line page it comes with the grid page it comes with the dot grid and it comes with just a blank one. All four of those have this blackboard text in the top corner in a portrait orientation. The letter is a little bit different. So it does come with pages that are obviously intended to be portrait, but then it came with, and they probably should have flipped the text on this one, it comes with this uh, day planner type page which does still have the blackboard there in the corner in the wrong orientation for the way the rest of this page is. Um, so I might send him a note about that, but it makes a whole lot more sense that if I was gonna put that day planner in here and uh, prop it up like that with my information on it so I could see it throughout the day and check things off. Although it feels like the letter might be a bit heavy for that. All right, so let me erase both of those. It, erasing them is that simple. Um, what else is there? They are battery powered and the batteries are changeable. That's actually an improvement from some of the old models. Um, some of the old models had the battery basically stuck in them. And does it say how many erases you get? It does not. I believe it's supposed to be in the several thousand scale. Um, although I think the note gets more erases per battery than the larger model. They're not expensive batteries. They're just uh, little CR2032 coin cells. There's a tiny screw and a door that pops out of the corner on that one. And the larger model uses a slightly more traditional uh, coin screw type where you could open it with, you know, any, well, a penny, a dime, a nickel, take your pick. Although, man, it is stuck. So, uh, I'd say use a quarter. <laughs> um, beyond that, that's really all there is to these. They are great devices for school-aged children. You know, draw, make all your pictures um, without burning through paper. We're going to be demoing them with the Okio cams as really a suggested combined solution. You throw one of these under a document camera, you can draw all the stuff you need all day without needing a single page. And at that point, it's easy to use the snapshot function of the Okio cam to save your notes. And then you erase your page. <laughs> so real easy real good solution there um, I do want to thank Blackboard for sending us the note size model 
we did already have the letter so beyond that um, if anyone has any questions let me know I will try and follow up on those as best I can uh, I want to thank Electrix for providing our opening and closing themes as always I also want to thank our patrons and anyone who helps support Pocketables using our Amazon affiliate links. It was actually Amazon affiliate credit that was used to purchase the letter size blackboard when I decided that I do want to show this with the Okio cam. Uh, that was a conclusion I came to on my own at Pocketables. Um, all of that said, thank you for watching.